It's a Monday evening in Minneapolis. Police respond to a call about a man who allegedly used a counterfeit $20 bill to buy cigarettes. 17 minutes later, the man they are there to investigate lies motionless on the ground and is pronounced dead shortly after. The man was 46-year-old George Floyd, a bouncer originally from Houston who'd lost his job at a restaurant when the coronavirus pandemic hit. Floyd's death triggered major protests in Minneapolis and sparked rage across the country. So I'm double vlogging. <laughs> because they do. Uh. <laughs> I'm vlogging for Micah because we missed. Oh, they blocked the street off. I wonder if it's Why would you go that way? Look, oh, I'm here, here, so I'm gonna tell, if I get a street, I will. I'm thinking it's open down there, but. Oh, jeez. Anyway, um, I wish my camera would fall. Thank you. Um, we are going to a protest today. Oh my gosh. What's up, guys? Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Micah's channel. Hi my channel. We're going to a protest. We're a little late. That's Micah's fun. people, the Stewart fam. <sighs> he asked for his camera, but there was a lot happening. I didn't mm -hmm. give it to him, so he doesn't have it. We have Glenn by Victoria over there. You know, uh, just. Uh, Oh, there's a whole oh, bunch of people down there. there. Oh, so we're, where was we're dad walking to, but he started walking green. already. They're going to the green. We're super cheap. All right, so you want me to turn around so you guys go with You that? think he'll answer his phone? Can you call him? Michael. We don't know where we're going or what we're doing. I'll go back. I'll go back um, to the we can probably the do that. I mean, the back of the church. So you guys can cut, run through. Um, We thought maybe we were we're late for a protest, but probably dad. not. Yeah. No, I'm calling Michael. Um, I'm not calling him. So. We're gonna film going, me, so. probably take some pictures, you know, have a good moment, and we'll see each other there. But I think he's still outside. Did you guys start walking yet? Did you guys start walking yet? We'll see. Okay. Right. Michael, Michael will be with you momentarily. So I say to all of you, thank you, but more than that, let's add our voices to the chorus, let's add our feet to the march. But most of all, let's take the action that is needed and necessary in order to create the equality in health, in racial justice, and in income equality. That's the task ahead of us. Thank you, making change both a reality and a priority. God bless you, and thank you for welcoming me here today. To my colleagues, especially my Republican colleagues in the United States Senate, this is what democracy looks like. This is what this is what America looks like. There's no going back. In these last couple of weeks, I've been all around the state of Connecticut nine or ten marches. I've watched as you have people in the streets demanding justice. People of different races, religions, backgrounds demanding change. Words are no longer enough. We need action. And as Gary said so well, we need to put the action where our mouths are. I want to thank Reverend Steele, Pastor Kimber, all of you for being here, especially these young people who have been standing here for the entire demonstration. Thank you. They and other young people are showing us the way. 
They are showing us our future. They are showing us the American dream. They are showing us Black Lives Matter. Black Voices Matter. Black Business Matter. Yes, dollars and cents. Black education and black health care matters. We can no longer afford in this country the old normal. Yeah, we have a pandemic. It's sweeping the country. But that epidemic, that virus, that sickening racism is in every facet of our country and it is our work, every one of our work, to eradicate it. So I can pledge to you that as a member of the Senate Judiciary Committee, working with my House colleagues, I am going to fight for legislation that says no more chokeholds, no more no-knock warrants like kill Breonna Taylor. No more secrecy in discipline. We need those review boards to be open. We need people to be able to see what's happening and a national registry of who does wrong. So they are barred and people who are unfit to wear the badge ought to be stopped before they have it. Cut. There should be no more brutality and cruelty that has been all too common and only recently, only recently has it been caught on tape. Think of the thousands who have lost their lives invisibly in the past. So we need to take this picture, this picture of democracy and this picture of America. So my colleagues in the Senate can see it. And when you, when you see something, when you see racism, you need to say something. And when you say something, we need to do something. So we can begin this November. Vote. We need to vote. And get people to register to vote all around the country. And then get them to vote and get them counted in the census. Action more than words. Let's make it count. Let's make it real. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for inspiring me. Thank you for showing me what courage and strength looks like. And we can take a lesson from them and from so many other young people who have refused to settle They've refused to say, it's okay, it's the way it's always been, it's normal. It's no longer normal, it's no longer okay, let's get it done. Thank you so much.
like you listen to Mo. Yeah, Mo. No peace. No peace. No peace. We're done asking. No peace. I'm about to take pictures from behind. You guys can get those shots. Right? We're done asking. No peace. No peace. No peace. No peace. No peace. <laughs> yeah, that was so late. I didn't even hear you. We're not asking no more. We ain't asking no more. We asked black fans. We asked. Too many times. Not the man. Like, you feel about what's going on. See if y'all left already. How you feel, honey? Oh, I got right now? Figure, yeah. But then I had to put my arms down. It so. feels good to no, see us be able to come together and make a statement. Hopefully, they listen to us this time because we done asking. How you feel, there? You know what? I said I wasn't going to go to one of these. I'm glad I came. Because you know what? We do have to come together and make a change. We can't just expect for someone else to do it for us. So. I'm out here. Yeah. Hot, but I'm out here. How you doing, King? What's good, man? How you doing? Chilling, man. Oh, that's good. That's good. Cool testing. How, how, how you feeling? How you feeling? I can't hear you. How you feeling? You know? I understand. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> no peace! like these where black black america needs to come together as one and fight for injustice we shall not stop until the systematic society we live in is demolished now i would like to take the time to acknowledge our fallen soldiers that have passed because of racism and bigotry these are the national names freddie gray samuel debose philando castile terence crusher alton sterling jamar 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 clark jeremy mcdowell william chapman the second Walter Scott, Eric Harris, Tamara Reese, Akai Gurley, Michael Brown, Eric Gardner, George Floyd. These are the local names. Jose Soto, Edward Gidron, Mubarak Solomon, Michael Ger Gregory, John J. Caceres, Alfonso Zaporta, Anthony Vega Cruz, Karan Sands, Paul Arbelto, Joanne McCry. Zoe Dowdell, Constantos Filanto, Jason Negron, Thomas N. Gerzlotos, Val Thomas, Daniel Reyes, Daniel Pape, Christopher Andrews, Richard Love, Christopher T. An Anderson, and David Werblow. Thank you for your time and thank you for believing in our black community. And I feel like Nehemiah right now being disturbed and distressed, trying to figure out what can we do to make sure that another life is not lost. The first thing he did was he went to pray. How many of you know that prayer works? I need us to bombard heaven right now to knowing that the hand of God is still with us and still on this situation. I need the faces on the green right now. The faces in New Haven. The faces in Minneapolis. The faces in Florida. The faces in Georgia. The faces in California. I need us to make heaven open up its windows right now. And to still rain down mercies and blessings upon us. I need for God to hear us right now. We need to know that whether two or three are gathered in God's name, I will send my spirit forth. So if I'm one, 
Are you the other one? Before the call to action, there has to be a call for prayer. How many of you know we need prayer right now? The Bible said, if my people that are called by my name would humble themselves and pray. Shout out my cool shout out now. Come on, Bishop. Come on, Bishop. Come on, Bishop. And I will shout out. And I ain't crazy. I'm neither ignorant nor unlearned. I got me a good education. I got me good knowledge and good wisdom. But I need somebody who will, like me, get on their knees. Yeah. Yeah. Give my people yeah. that are called by my name yeah. would humble themselves and pray. Pastor Steele said we need to hit from heaven. Pastor Cousin said we need to hit from heaven. I need God to turn some hearts around, some minds around, some spirits around. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Because you told me that everything gives thanks. But this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning us. So God, I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your mercy. I thank you that you brought us together. Black, white, brown, red, and Asian. You brought us all together. All nationalities, all races, all creeds, all religions. You brought us together, God, just to call on your name. Just to depend on you. Just to say, Father, we need you to step in. If you don't do it, God, we're messed up. If you don't do it, God, killing will continue. Disease will continue. But God, if you say the word, if you say the word, you had the prophet of old speak, and he shut up the heavens, and the sun didn't move. You had him speak, and rain began to come. Boy, you can do this, because there's nothing too hard for you. So, God, I come to say thank you. Thank you for doing what the Bible shut up. Thank you. Thank you for doing what I asked you to do. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your compassion. Thank you, God. Give us the strength and the wisdom and knowledge. And Father, we'll be ever faithful to give you praise. We're going to give you glory. We're going to magnify your name. I need you to get up. I need you to give God a great big praise. We need to speak life to our children. Right. See, when I was walking down here, oh. come on, with my grandchildren in 2020, with their fists up to say Black Lives Matter, that we are still here today. I want, I want to look them in the eyes. Come here. Come before me. And I want to tell you all that you matter. Right. You mean something. Right. You're important. You matter. And you're going to be something. I want you all to find that there's some young child out there. So look them in the eyes right now. Look them in their eyes right now. You standing next to one another. Look, look each other in the eye and say you matter. Your life matters. Your life matters. Because too often in black man and black woman, I know, again, our white allies, our white Christian brothers and Chinese brothers, all of you all that are part of the human family, we have a situation going on. And we understand that we serve a mighty God, but we cannot just support an organization called Black Lives Matter. It's not about an organization. It's about a people that have been mistreated for 400 years. We're dealing with COVID-19, but we got a COVID-2-16-19 that we've been dealing with for 400 years. And we just need you to bear with us because we have been traumatized and we have all been through a lot and now we even got self-hatred that we got to deal with. We don't even love each other. The Bible says, God says, to love God with all your mind, heart, soul, and strength. And the second is like unto that. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Well, we have a problem with loving ourselves because of what has been happening to us for all these years. But today, it stops here. Today, it ends here. Today, we will love one another. We will love ourselves so that we can truly have real love for our white brother and our sister and all of the other races. Because until we learn to love ourselves, we can never 
love nobody else the way that the scripture says. So my prayer today is that we truly learn how to love ourselves first. The word of the Lord says that. The word of the Lord commands us to love thy neighbor as ourselves. So I just want you to stretch your hand towards heaven right now. And I want us to pray, and I want you just to pray with me. Father, in the name of Jesus, we're asking today, Lord, that you strengthen us. Father, remind us that you created us in your image and your likeness, that you divinely created each and every one of us, Lord. And Father, for our black brothers and sisters who thought forgot that your scripture says that in the at Psalms 82 that you are all gods, children of the most high God. We are asking that you remind our black brothers and sisters of who they are, that you remind them that they're loved, that they're important, that they matter, that you remind them that they are somebody that we can now stand and love for real, that we don't have to love out of a need because we want somebody to love us, so we love them. We want to love for real. We want to love you with all our mind, heart, soul, and strength. We want to give you our everything, that we can stand in truth, that we can stand in real love, that we can serve each other in love, that our children and our grandchildren will be proud. And Father, we pray even now for each and every young man, young black man that lost their lives to violence, to lost their lives to police brutality. We pray for the families and mothers that had to bury their children, fathers that had to bury their children, strengthen them right now. And Father, as we gather today on this green, Father, as we gather today as a unified people, as we gather today, break down all the artificial barriers, break down all the racism, break down all the isms, break down all the schism, break down all the things that divides us. And that we find value in each other. That we reach for something that we can connect to instead of something that divides us. That we fight for our love. For your word says, perfect love casts out all fear. And Father, we ask today that you teach us. That we don't just leave this place with an emotional experience. But we got a charge in our heart that from this day forward, that we will commit to love one another from this day forward, that we will stand for peace and righteousness from this day forward, that we will stand for justice and equality. And Father, we speak to every official, to every governor, to every mayor, to every alder, to every state representative, and even the president of this United States, that you convict them even in their heart to do what is right and just that we stand on that and that we believe and trust in you father that you can do all these things and father we love you we honor you and we glorify you today let everybody say amen 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 amen, amen. amen. come on and clap your hands Until I get a meal All I want is dollar bills Second higher than some hills Messing with my cake Probably get you killed Whoa, grind until I get a meal All I want is dollar bills